everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Capricorns inside of their mind reading for the month of September. In this message, Capricorn, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper inside your person's mind. In this portion, we're going to look at their perception of you, their perception of the challenge. We'll look at anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and their true intentions moving forward. I'll tap into the outcome if you stay in this energy and advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Capricorn, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this month. Most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What do my Capricorn friends need to know? Capricorn. Mm hmm. So there's an energy of fighting, bickering, going back and forth between you and your person. Definitely feel an energy of one-upping, five of swords energy, even though we don't see that present. I feel like it's a tit for tat type of an energy coming out here. Okay. And what I will say, Capricorn, is in this energy, nobody wins. Okay. And we're going to clarify all of this throughout the message. The energy surrounding you, Capricorn, is the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords energy. Trying to focus on new, trying to move forward, trying to push forward, but there's still something here that's holding you back, something that you've recently released that I feel here you're still kind of holding on to this energy you haven't completely healed from this Ten of Swords. Now, we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. The person that's being channeled, the Temperance, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Coins. So this is like a person who's waiting. They're waiting for you to come back around. But I feel here, Capricorn, that what's done is done. And this person has caused too much turmoil, too much drama, too much chaos. With the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Swords energy, it's like this person tries to get even, tries to get revenge whenever they feel like you've slighted them. But what I will say here, Capricorn, is this person is definitely waiting for you to come back around. I do feel an energy of willing to fight for this connection, but are you going to go back? I don't know, honestly. The challenge here is you've met somebody new. There's a new beginning, a new person that you're focused on. And it's almost as if you're kind of torn between the two. Uh, rock in a hard spot. So, we're going to clarify. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating with your energy, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here, Capricorn, with the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords for your energy. We're going to clarify this new beginning that Capricorn is heading into. King of Swords energy for Capricorn spirit, please and thank you. Okay. This is really causing a lot of anguish in your life. I just feel like there's a lot of drama surrounding the situation and Capricorn, you're trying to focus on the new. This person isn't letting you go. Let's clarify the full energy here for Capricorn, this new beginning, please. And thank you. Mm -hmm. So this person makes you feel happier, more uplifted. It's almost as if focusing on the new makes you feel more stable, more secure. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, this ending. Well, that's interesting. Ten of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords. What's done is done. 
focus on the new. Now we're still going to go through the message, even though most of you are probably already going to click off. There are going to be a few of you that still haven't completely healed. So let's tap into your person's energy here. We're going to clarify this temperance. For Capricorn's person being channeled here in this energy. Please and thank you, Spirit. Again, they're waiting. This is an energy of waiting, of contemplating a return. You returning back to this person. So they're waiting for you to come back around, for you to reach out. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person may know about this new beginning. And this is what they're fighting about. This is what it's telling me. Again, a lot of waiting, a lot of contemplating a return. Let's clarify the king of coins, the king of pentacles. <laughs> There's the five of swords. So, getting even, tit for tat, one up type of an energy, very toxic, Capricorn, and focused on you. Let's clarify the King of Cups for the challenge. Mm -hmm. It's time to move forward. Even though this person may not be allowing you to move on at this time, I feel like you know it's time. You know that this has ended. And there is no other choice but to let this person go. Okay. Now, I do feel here, Capricorn, this person isn't going to release this connection so easily. They feel like there is an intense connection here. And again, guys, we're going to dive deeper into this person's energy right now. But I definitely feel like they're going to resist this ending. And that's why this is coming out. So let's dive deeper into your person's mind. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We are going to start with your person's perception of you, Capricorn, in this energy. Please and thank you. What is Capricorn's person's perception of Capricorn in this energy? Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. This person's perception of you, Capricorn. Even though they feel you walking away, I feel like this person still wants to move forward with you. Maybe even trying to keep things on a friendly level. They they know that they've messed up. So whatever they've done recently to slight, it's almost as if there's no return here, Capricorn. And this person knows that they've messed up. Okay. This person knows that there's no coming back. So they're prolonging the ending here. Okay. And this is their perception of the challenge. Seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of lying. There's a lot of deception. There's a lot of mistrust when it comes to the situation. I don't feel like this person is being 100% completely honest because they're trying to keep you around. But I feel here, Capricorn, you're trying to move on. 
and this is holding you back. So what's hidden here that Capricorn needs to be made aware of, Spirit? Please and thank you. What's done is done. That's the Ten of Swords three times, guys. Every deck that we've used, the Ten of Swords has come out. It's time to end this and focus on the new. That's what this is telling me. And even though this may be difficult to release, I definitely feel like it's going to be worth it here, Capricorn. What's this person's true intentions moving forward? Spirit, please and thank you for Capricorn in this energy. I don't know why this person feels like they want to work on this. They want this to work. They want things to come together. And I feel here there's definitely an energy of a loss. Okay. I do feel like this person is aware of their actions um, not being okay. But it's like they can't go back. It's too late. And what's done is done. Okay. Continue to move forward is what the energy is telling you here, Capricorn. So let's look at the outcome if you stay in this energy, in this back and forth, indecisive. All cards are pointing go towards this new person and release the drama, release the conflict, release the chaos, even if it may be difficult, even if there may be a, a financial loss or losing some stuff. It's a loss that you're going to have to endure to release this person here capricorn all cards are pointing at go okay at moving forward so trusting the process here focusing on the new but keeping your eye on this person because there is a vindictive type of an energy coming out here so keeping things hidden keeping things a secret for a while is going to be important with the seven of swords this is part of the advice. Pay attention to this new person as well. I definitely feel like there is a need to heal from this past situation here, Capricorn, before you just move forward. Only because you don't want this situation to hinder the growth of a new connection. Let's pull out some romance angels to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. It is safe to love, getting to know each other, love yourself first. So again, moving forward, this is all pointing towards the new energy Capricorn. The reading is telling you it's time to move forward. Even if it's difficult, it is going to be worth it. Okay. So just having hope, trusting the process here, that's all going to be the key in moving forward. You're headed in a positive direction, trusting the universe, trusting the process. If you're feeling more at ease with this new person, what's the worst that can happen? This past person is going to be here waiting. So Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.